going on, guys? This is my favourite one of the month. Only because it's RGB, right? Well, no, it's well, got the the, uh, it's the crystal the, things. Ah, the crystal, the RGB, the water cooling everywhere. Yeah. The purple. Yes. What about the motherboard? It's, do you like the motherboard? Yeah, I do actually. It's shiny. That's one of my favourite motherboards. Is it? Of all time. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's, um, like look-wise, yeah. look-wise it is. It costs an arm and a leg, but look-wise, if you have unlimited money, which we don't, <laughs> but if you did have unlimited money and you're just going for looks, I think this is the motherboard. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. And RGB. Yes, finally. Yeah. The fans match the RAM as well. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Post error. Oh, because I took the SSD out. Oh, okay. <laughs> took the SSD out, so it's not going to post, but we had an RGB anyway, so that's all good. Actually, these fans are a little bit noisy a little when bit. they're not under PWM control. So this is the Asus ROG Strix Helios case, I believe it's called. And we've got the uh, ROG Thor power supply, which is pretty cool. It has like a live readout of the uh, wattage down there. Um, inside the system, we've got the Asus ROG Glacier motherboard. Love that motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> EK water blocks for the cooling. And we've also got an 11700K inside this system because we, we actually teamed up with M-Wave um, to do a system with an 11700K. So, they provided that, it was the perfect system to go in, but all good things must come to an end. We're going to be pulling this apart. No! I want to reuse this motherboard in a desk PC. Yes. And chuck an, uh, an 11900K in there and do like an AMD versus Intel desk PC. Oh, that's awesome idea. Yeah. I wish that they would make, I really want an AMD motherboard as high end as something like this. Like, you know, the full mono block all over it. Um, they haven't, no one's made one yet. Apart from ASRock, they have the X570 Aqua, but like, to be honest, this one's above the Aqua. And it looks so good. <laughs> it does look good. <laughs> uh, so, I don't think there's much more to say about this, right? Okay, here's what I wanna know. In the comments below, I wanna know, do you like the clean custom water cooled builds like this one or do you like really heavily modified builds let me know in the comments i'm very interested to hear your thoughts that pretty much does it for this pc i hope you all enjoy the rest of them and thanks for your support guys the arms before we take the PC apart. Oh. Ah, how are we all today? Hi. I'm a little bit, uh, definitely do need to stretch a bit, right? <laughs> I'm yeah. getting old. I think so. Getting older. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone. This is uh, a the Burning Crusade PC. We, we decided to go with uh, Burning Crusade theme because World of Warcraft classic Burning Crusade is coming out very soon. What do you think about it, Amelia? Very cool. <laughs> I love that we've gone with uh, some custom coolant again. Yes, yes. Always love that custom coolant. So, you probably don't know about it, but um, what I, I was going for with this reservoir was I was gonna make the dark portal, and it's like a, it's a major thing in Burning Crusade, right? You go through the dark portal to get to the Outlands. Um, and I was actually going to put like acrylic pieces around to make like the pillars and everything but unfortunately it's such a small case and such a big GPU in here so I don't really have the room to work with. Uh, so instead it's just hidden behind there but the liquid looks really nice. It kind of looks like a portally type mm. feel. Yeah. yeah it does. Um, and then we've got the famous war glaives on the front. Two of those. Um, there's not much else really to say about those. I kind of just used the resin and the same powder that we used in the liquid uh, to, you know, create the patterns and everything on it. And then I got the sandpaper and sort of sanded it back a tiny bit around the edges just to give it a bit of a worn out look, a tiny bit of worn on it. 
Um, and then we've got the acrylic panel on the front there, it just says the Burning Crusade. Again, it's the same resin as the front wall glaive and the same powder that we used inside of the liquid. So I was trying to stay consistent throughout. <clears throat> The GPU here is the uh, Aorus Master 6800 XT, and it is a big boy. <laughs> it's massive. It's a big boy. <laughs> it is. I was planning to do a lot more inside this case, but unfortunately, the GPU is pretty much the same length as the case. Yeah, it's <laughs> huge. <laughs> yeah, but um, I ended up going with EK water blocks for the cooling, and the idea was to try and make all of the LEDs green. Uh, I did get the RAM green, but the GPU, like the, the Aorus Fusion software needs a lot of work because it was not detecting the GPU at all. And um, I actually downloaded Aorus Engine, which they recommended and downloaded the RGB Fusion software through Aorus Engine. And usually that should fix the problem, but in this case it didn't. So the GPU stayed RGB and there's not much I could do about that. So, yeah, I think Oris needs to fix their software. The, the products are pretty good, pretty decent, but the software isn't as good. Um, the case, this is from Aerocool. Uh, this is their first Thunder X3. Thunder X3 is like a sub-brand of Aerocool. Um, pretty nice case, and definitely, definitely like building in this one. It's actually wider than normal to obviously fit that vertical GPU in there. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun in this case as well. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this build, so I'm glad uh, you guys are you know, helping support the channel. It helps us to afford to do things like this, especially like all of the artwork and everything like that. So we really appreciate your support to your Patreons and YouTube members out there, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Another one. <laughs> this one was built in one day. Wow. This is the Antec Dark Cube case. Amelia, what are your thoughts? I love the color of the liquid that you chose. Ah. Yeah. I like it's that. It's like a lighter blue color. Mm -hmm. Yep. We haven't used a lighter blue color in a while. No. But is there anything different that you notice about this computer? The graphics cards. Everything's yeah. upside down and back yeah. to front. Yeah. <laughs> it's what's it doing up there? Back to front case. Yeah. Wow. Is it well, upside down? Yeah. The case? Yeah, it's inverted. Yeah. So the okay. front is normally on this side. Okay. And then the motherboard's upside down. It's normally up up here. So yeah, it's all back to front. Wow. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we built this PC right here in one day. And this is the new Antec Dark Cube case. Everything's inverted. The top has a glass panel so you can view your GPU from the top. And this is actually a massive tray that you can pull out of the main frame structure. So it's got a big handle at the back. Um, and the whole idea behind that is when you pull the whole thing out, yeah, it's easier to build in, like you've got more room to work around and everything. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the whole premise of this case. And we've got some RGB at the front, and there is a removable grill, and you can put glass on the front if you want as well, which actually comes with the case. Oh, well, that's cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna get this thing back on. What do you think of this case, Amelia? Honest it's thoughts. <laughs> it's different. It's definitely different. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's actually it's an. It's IT small. Yeah, it's an ITX case. It can fit up to an M ATX uh, motherboard, micro ATX motherboard, and yeah, I like the whole idea behind it. You can't really fit a full size GPU inside of this unless you don't water cool and you mount the fans on the outside of the fan bracket that'll make for a lot more room. But obviously we have fans and a radiator inside. Yeah, so we went through a couple of different reservoirs to try and fit inside here because it was so jam-packed tight. And we ended up going with the 11600K CPU from Intel. It's a really good 1440p 
uh, gaming CPU and it's got um, it's good uh, performance uh, cost ratio for this CPU and its direct competitor is the AMD uh, 5600X at the moment this CPU is lower than the 5600X they trade blows in games but the 5600X is a better um, rendering CPU so if you can get this uh, 11600K on sale, that's the one to get. And we paired that with a 6700 XT. So this is a really good 1440p gaming machine. And we managed to fit the custom loop in there. What do you think about the custom loop? Nice, nice and simple. Nice and simple, yeah, yeah. that's it. Well, that's what we're going for. A nice, quick, clean build for the i5 CPU. Uh, it would have been too hard to fit the GPU in the loop as well and we wouldn't have had enough cooling. A 240mm radiator isn't going to cover the CPU and the GPU, so the GPU is in there by itself with the stock cooler on there. But uh, yeah, so this is our little 1440p gaming machine and we're about to start taking this apart. Oh. Hmm. So anyway, that about does it for us. Just wanted to say again, thank you Patreons, YouTube members for all your support. It's greatly appreciated and allows us to now do this full time, right Amelia? Woohoo, yeah. Full time this year, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Scary and crazy at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks guys. Can you hear me? That's a quite noisy fans. <laughs> yeah, I had to take the SSD out. So it's a hundred percent and very loud. They're also meant to be yellow, not white. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. So this is our MSI PC that we did uh, and we had to paint it all red and get some gold and black accents in there uh, to celebrate MSI releasing three million gaming monitors sold in just three years. That, that was the whole idea behind it. Uh, and their limited edition monitor that they had was all red with some gold accents and black hence our design here. This was the perfect opportunity for an Iron Man theme. But I couldn't do it. Oh. Actually, funny thing, we had a uh, menu log reach out. Yeah. Because Brian from Tech Yes City said, oh, we should do a, you should do a menu log red pizza theme. And then menu log just out of nowhere said, oh my, we would be down for it. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. So we'll have to do something with menu log, that'll be cool. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I forget what specs are in here. I know we've got an 11900K CPU. The GPU is the 5700XT Gaming X Trio from uh, MSI. So, yeah. Overall, it was a pretty clean build we did. It's an all-in-one cooled build. A lot of you guys don't actually see all-in-one cooled builds from us. It's usually water cooling, custom water cooling as well. Um, now, funny thing about the RAM, so we we're having a bit of issues with the LED software. And what was happening was on the first RAM stick, some of the LEDs were showing up as green for some strange reason. I have no idea why. So we had to turn off the first one and it just looked weird having three on and one off. So we turned off the third one as well to kind of keep it symmetrical. And so that's why we've got two, L two LEDs <laughs> on, two LEDs off. Uh, there's not much really more to say about this build. Gold and red theme, you know, is pretty standard. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this build. Once again, thank you so much for your support, guys.